we found that generally men prefer to go for women on the platform who rate themselves when they do our questionnaire as an 8 out of 10, whereas women are just as happy to date someone who is a 5 out of 10. So I think what that shows is that as a society, we're still a bit old-fashioned. And what micro-cheating is, is when you go on social media and you might have a partner, for instance, that sort of follows an ex on Instagram and constantly pays her compliments and tells her how wonderful and beautiful she is. You've basically got beautiful people full of hormones and enthusiasm <laughs> and a constant supply of new people coming in. Mm. And for me, what was so... I just couldn't switch it off was this... was really how people dealt with breaking up in a really brutal public fashion mm. and then having to watch the person person they thought they kind of, in a way, had maybe not loved, but grown very close to, go off with someone else. What is a school of love uh, all about? School of love. A school of love <laughs> is where you can come and get expert advice. There's going to be a panel. We're going to have myself talking about the science of compatibility, because that's what we do at eHarmony. We're going to sort of decode love and hopefully give people more confidence. Two thirds of people are actually in a happy, long term relationship with someone that wasn't their traditional type. Yeah, I've heard that. That's great. Say that again. Yeah. Two thirds. Two thirds are in a happy relationship that, with admit. someone they thought wasn't their type. Exactly. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's our message today about kind of opening your imagination. Yeah. Isn't it? People are searching for more meaningful relationships. So um, we want to encourage them. We're sort of working with Laura because she's a survivor of heartbreak. <laughs> she's a pioneer. She's mm. a powerful woman to help incentivize people not to give up on love. Never. Our research shows at eHarmony that basically a lot of people, something like over 90% of people drastically reduce their chance of finding a kind of highly compatible match because they set their location settings so narrow. Yeah.